Hey everyone, welcome to The Daily Word. I'm really glad uh, that you have joined us. And for our, our Daily Word today, we're actually gonna do a little bit of a, of a look back. We ended up covering the, the entirety of, of the, the last half of Matthew 21 yesterday. So really wanted to go back to one, um, to a passage that we read while we were on our break from The Daily Word. And, and that is Matthew, uh, 19, and I'd like to share verse 21 with you, and then let's let's talk for a few minutes today about wealth and life. Jesus told him, "If you want to be perfect, and and perfect here is not what we would kind of typically think of as perfect, as in like making no mistakes and that sort of thing. Really, this is about the 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 purpose of being. If if you want to." you want to know and, uh, and, and actually take hold of the purpose of your being, if you want what he's asking for, true life, eternal life, uh, this, this is what he means. Go and sell all your possessions and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. And we tend to put most of the focus on the giving the money away part. That tends to be the most shocking and and perhaps frightening thing, but really the, the, the end of life, the, the purpose of life, the fulfillment of, of the reason he was made and the design by which he was made is then come, follow me. So this rich man, he comes to Jesus and in spite of his great wealth, what we learn about him is that um, he has made great effort at righteousness. He has made great effort, it seems, in making and preserving his wealth. Uh, he tries to obey the law. And in spite of all of that, what he realizes is that he does not have the, the satisfaction, the fulfillment of his soul. He knows that he does not have the life for which he is made. And Jesus points him, uh, first of all, to the law. And, and it's, it, it's very interesting just how intentional and how brilliant Jesus is in his teaching. Um, he's going to point to, first of all, the, those commandments that have to do with loving each other, with loving our neighbor. And the man says, well, you know, I've done all of those things. And, and again, as we see Jesus just brilliantly leading here, um, he indicates, Jesus indicates by, by naming those and then moving him on, he is, he is indicating that what, what is truly missing in his life, what is, is that step that he needs to take is in his love for God, his devotion to God. This, this man seems to think that life is in, in wealth and God. Uh, he thinks that he needs just one more command, more, one, one more practice, and by the earning of his wealth and the earning of his salvation, that he will have life. His, his heart is set on, on control and on self. He, he really, you know, as you think about what it means to love God, he really seems to see God as, uh, as a, a means to his end, to an end, uh, just like his wealth is his wealth is, is a, a means to an end to accomplish life, and so, uh, and so is God. And so Jesus calls him to this radical step of giving away all that he has and then coming and following Jesus. It, it seems that his wealth is an obstacle to life for him. Uh, it seems to me that, that Jesus is calling him to realize and to accept the fact that salvation is a gift, that he must see that Jesus is actually the treasure. And until he, until he takes his eyes and his heart off of his earthly treasure, he will not see that Jesus is actually the true treasure. And in doing so, Jesus knows that he will come to love God not see God as a means to an end, as a means to get something else, but God as, as end in himself, to love God because he is God, to simply love him. 
Jesus knows that he must learn, therefore, to depend on Christ. That his salvation is a gift, that life is a gift that is found in relationship with God. And, and what's so interesting is that Jesus is, um, he is seeking to teach this man to depend on, on Christ, on him for salvation. And he's going to do that by, by causing this man to rely on Jesus for his daily bread. You could, you could see the sort of program that Jesus would have him on. As he came to him, he would teach him that the wealth is, is not the pathway to life, that it is Christ. It is knowing Christ himself, learning to depend on Christ, trust in him for salvation, for life. And, and what, a, what a brilliant way Jesus would teach him. But unfortunately, uh, the man loved his wealth, depended on his wealth too much. His wealth was too great for him to let it go. But I, I don't think the amount was really the issue. It was truly a, a matter of his heart, of his trust that it was in that wealth, that it was in his earthly treasure. And, and, and so we have to ask then, how does this apply then uh, to us? So some questions. Do, do we depend upon God? Is our trust in Him or is it in the things of this world? When we pray for our daily bread, do we truly believe that it is God who provides? And and more importantly than that, when we consider life and salvation, do we think that we are somehow earning it or are we depending on Jesus Christ, on his death and resurrection, on the gospel? And do we love God? Are we dedicated to God? Do we love God? simply for himself as the end, as the treasure himself? Or do we see God as a means of getting something else? Friends, may it be that we look to Christ as our treasure, as our life, and may it be that we see our wealth, whatever it is that the Lord has given us, entrusted to us, whatever it is that we are able to make, that we would look at it as a means to an end and not the Lord. To see our, our wealth as what we might call so that wealth, that God has given me this so that I might provide for my family, so that I may, might be blessed as a child of God, so that I might advance the kingdom of God, build up the church, and be an expression, a living expression um, a tangible expression of the generosity of the Lord. And may it be so in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And friends, till we have a chance to speak again, I pray that God would bless you and that he would keep you.